Hello there my fellow Holotable Heroes and welcome to another Grand Arena video. Now during this past week in Grand Arena 3v3 I actually have a privilege of fighting an opponent with 13 million GP and at 13 million GP you can imagine they had everything. All the data crons, all the Omicrons, all the relics, all the mods and luckily they were a bit creative with their defenses so there are lots of teams I faced for the first time and I recorded those battles but they weren't really all that interesting but this one really really blew my mind. It's the first time I faced Omicron so on defense in 3 free with Kyle and Kara. I didn't know what to expect, I'm like, I don't even know what the Omicron from that guy does. Um, but yeah, I will just wanted to read through first just to see actually what's going on. And I'm like, uh, and I'm scrolling and I'm scrolling and I'm over, what is all this text? Who's gonna read all of this? And even his Omicron, look at this, it's so long. Uh, so there's some explosive trap happening, then he takes a bonus turns, increases the cooldowns of all enemies by one. Yikes! Uh, so again, more long, lots of text. Um, there was something somewhere about uh, in his leadership, I believe. Actually, it's not even a part of his Omicron that when they get stunned and dazed or something. I don't know. They cleanse. I don't know. I just couldn't bother reading. Uh, like their data cron, not too crazy here. Uh, but I'm like, I can't be bothered to study all leadership here. So pretty sure Star Killer can do this, right? I mean, Star Killer should be one level below Galactic Legends, right? So he should uh, make quick work of these uh, rebels. Come, okay. So we go first, which is good, I guess. I'm like, all right, uh, let's get our train rolling. And uh, nope. <laughs> oh boy. And this is where things just started going downhill. They started getting a bunch of turns. I have no idea what's happening. My guys are blinded. Um, here comes uh, as well Kyle there, and of course Kari moving turn meter. Uh, that was annoying. Cooldowns got wrecked as I showed you in the uh, Omicron description, so I can't use my specials. All I can do is basic attacks. But so far, you know, we're hanging in there. Uh, just gonna get rolling soon, but I just can't get anything going. Kyle here lands his quasi daze debuff, because obviously with Starkiller, they are immune to daze, but this debuff does not count as daze uh, that Kyle applies. But amongst other things, it does act. It is like a, it's kind of like a buff uh, and a daze, some sort of. So you can't gain, um, sorry, sort of buff immunity. So you can't gain buffs. You can't attack out of turn. So Star Kill is just standing there doing nothing while they're tearing apart Mara and Palpatine. And I was totally shocked. I'm like, what? What's going on here? And this is one of the last teams I just kind of left in uh, this round because I'm like, I don't need to worry about Saw because apparently he's really bad anyway. Um, I'll just save Star Killer for it and overkill it with Star Killer. And guess what? <laughs> oh boy, I was wrong. So here I didn't have a lot of teams left. Also check GSC inside. Not a lot of data in for here in 3v3 for Saw Omicron on defense. So didn't really have a whole lot of ideas what to do. I'm like, well, might as well try uh, here as well. Uh, Qui-Gon Omicron, see if we can get a big head. But these guys just keep on rolling. Just keep on rolling. There we go, like, so he's just taking so many turns and then obviously wrecking your cooldowns. There we go, they go straight for Qui-Gon. Uh, I've got critical damage down, I just do a basic there. Hopeful, hopefully we can get another big AoE coming in. They're recovering health and protection. I'm like, okay, let's get a taunt up so they don't go for Anakin. There we go, we got a couple of counter attacks. I'm like, come a big AoE, but with that critical damage down, even with the data cron, I there wasn't able to critically hit. So maybe if I would get a critical hit there with Annie, um, pr uh, probably I would have one shot everybody. So I guess Qu Qui Gon could work, but in my case it didn't. I'm like, all right. Uh, so Kara's almost dead. Let's just bring in Aiden and one shot her. Uh, but Kara also started with 100% turn meter, and she got a turn before Aiden stunned everybody because obviously Karzeri stuns uh, Empire enemies and I just couldn't get anything going here uh, as well. So definitely um, probably lots of misplays on my end just because I didn't realize what team does and I still don't understand exactly. But I just wanted to show you that, you know, do not underestimate a fully relic so Omicron. I'm like, fine, I still had Gemma left. I'm like, this is the last team I actually had left on my roster that can do something. Uh, so I'll just try that as well. I'm just 
keep getting wrecked. I might mind you, uh, they were preloaded because I wasn't able to pull out quick enough with Aiden. Uh, so probably JML would make a better work out of these guys. But still, they put up a fight. I mean, it's crazy. I'm like, come on, like, give me some ability blocks. It's just funny how uh, Saw's animation, when he gets hit, he just doesn't move. So you're like, <laughs> did I actually do some damage? Look, he's not moving. You actually don't know. Did you do some damage to him or not? Uh, but yeah, anyway, guys, if you see this team on defense, um, let me know what you guys used against it. Again, very little data on GAC available. That's why I'm sharing all these fails with you. So in case you do face it, that you do a little bit, I guess, better research than I have. But as you can see, Kyle is totally wrecking my team there, taking out both Yoras, and I'm like, uh, will Jamal actually be able to do this? I'm trying to keep wrecking their cooldowns, keep them ability block. I'm like, let's go after Kyle next, and hopefully we can 1v1 Sol Guerrero. Um, yes, I was really surprised, to be honest, how my Star Killer totally got wrecked. Um, I don't know. So yeah, I just don't know. Is Star Killer not good versus Saw Micron or something? I don't know. But Star Killer is supposed to be really good. You just go in, smash everything, uh, everything that's not a Galactic Legend. You should be good to go. But yeah, didn't happen for me. And because of this Saw battle, I actually lost this round. If I would have one shot it, so I would have won the round. So it was a bit of a, a bitter moment there. But at least you know, uh, I have a video to make to show you that. So Guerrero Omicron in Fury 3 is not total trash on defense. Hopefully this video was useful and helpful uh, showing you, you know, a little bit how AI uses this team, what it does on defense. Definitely be careful if you do see it on defense in your Grand Arena run. Thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next one, but until then have fun, enjoy your life, and may the RNG be with you my friends.